All right, guys, really exciting news from Arma today. They've released the V2 version of their 4S line. This is going to include a new Creighton and a new Outcast. They made a lot of really nice updates to these cars and a couple things they missed, which I would have liked to have seen. Before we get started looking at these, I want to let you guys know I've got a lot of really cool stuff coming up on this channel. Reviews, upgrades, news, giveaways, and a bunch of other stuff you're not going to want to miss it. So go ahead and get subscribed and hit that bell to get notified of future videos. All right, let's take a closer look. First, the Outcast is going to be available in the standard gold that it was was before and then a really nice blue which I think it looks awesome on it. They've increased the width and the length of this truck. It's going to be a little over an inch longer and almost two inches wider putting it close to the specs of the Max V2 which I don't think is a coincidence. Looking at the Creighton they've also gone wider and longer with it. It's almost an inch longer and, and again almost two inches wider. It's going to be coming in this cool light green color and then that nice blacking blue that we see on a lot of other armor vehicles. Most of the upgrades to these vehicles are going to be the same across both of them. There are a couple of differences and I'll mention those as we get to them. The most exciting upgrade that I've seen is going to be what they've done to the drivetrain. The first thing I want to talk about are these CVDs that they have. These are similar to the CVDs that they've offered as an upgrade in the past, but the ends on them look like they're updated and probably a little bit stronger. Attached to those, we have the new center differential ring and pinion gears. Now these aren't the same ring and pinion gears that you buy as an upgrade because these are going to be sintered powdered metal as opposed to the CNC machined billet upgrade ones that you get in the past. Still a big upgrade from plastic though. Those are going to attach to a steel spur gear, which is great to see, which unfortunately is attached to a slipper clutch, which is not great to see. I was really hoping to see a center differential here, but that would have required a complete redesign of that motor mount area, so I'm really not that surprised that they didn't update this. It is a little bit disappointing though. Taking a look at the arms, of course these arms are going to be wider to make up that wider track. They're also a lot beefier looking. They're almost completely solid and a lot thicker. Those arms are going to attach to some new aluminum bodied shocks. The shocks themselves look very similar to the old style just with aluminum bodies. I don't think they're any larger but they are a bit longer. The shock towers have been changed a bit. They're going to be a little bit taller and this is going to be to account for the wider track and the longer shock length. Now taking a look at the Creighton specifically, they have redesigned the tires. These are going to be the Copperhead 2 LPs. They look a lot more like their normal design Copperheads that they have now as opposed to the old design that the V1s were, so no surprise in that change. What they didn't change are the Outcast tires. These are still running the same backflip LPs that the previous version did, which I don't think is anything wrong with because the previous version backflip LPs have been a great tire that a lot of people not only use on Arma cars, but on a lot of other cars as well. These are going to be vented in the tire, not the wheel though, which of course is a great change. Both cars are going to get redesigned and thicker wing mounts, but only the Outcast is going to be coming with a redesigned wheelie bar that has rubber wheels on it. Another nice upgrade. Taking a look at the electronics, no surprise here. We've got a Spectrum Firma 120 amp ESC with a 3668 2400 kV motor, the S652 servo, which is probably a throwaway servo, and then the SLT transmitter, which is a fine transmitter for this kind of car. I would have liked to have seen the DX3 at this price range, but it's kind of right on that edge, so I'm not super surprised about that. These cars are going to be pretty light for their size. They're going to be coming in at around that nine pounds, a little bit more than nine pounds range. They're going to become with a course of two year warranty and they're going to be $469 each. That slots them in perfectly between the 3S and the 6S range and I'm not surprised about that price tag at all. That's pretty much all there is as far as updates are concerned. These were pretty tough trucks to begin with and I think that the updates that they did are going to make them even more durable. Only big disappointment is no center differential but like I said I'm not terribly surprised about that. But I've got my pre-order in on an Outcast. I can't wait to get it. Can't wait to do a review on it. If you're interested in seeing that be sure to get subscribed, hit that bell to get notified. I'll be getting one as soon as they're available. That's all we've got for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.